I just spawned a villager on a survival Minecraft server. Oh my god. However, this isn't any ordinary villager. Bro, bro, this is stupid. So my goal is to obtain as many illegal items as possible without any players finding out. Because let's just say I'm not supposed to have these. However, as you can see, Walter uses a specific type of currency. However, I, I have no gold. I just need one gold. That's all I need. Because once we get a single gold nugget we can literally do anything we want oh yeah <laughs> we have an issue um did i also do it for down here no it didn't and oh my god it's gold well okay i wow do i have any cobblestone Oh, that th this is a little awkward. Uh, so let's get started. What should I buy first? Uh, let's get some gold. And why is it not 127? You know, it would be nice not to have to trade with this guy ever again. So my idea, uh, do we have any wood? Because I want to organize every item this villager trades me into, like, chest, you know? I literally have the most powerful vault in the game, but I have five oak planks to my name. I mean, you'd think I'd have, like, infinite wood, but I, I really i really don't boom boom and then just like this guys this looks beautiful huh and i can get a double chest for each item actually so i guess let's do that uh starting off with gold and oh my so tough being able to trade infinitely with this guy and that should be the perfect amount to fill out this double chest awesome all right so let's see here uh bedrock oh gotta love bedrock i mean it's actually really nice that uh, we have an infinite source for bedrock you know like you got people making like the most giant machines to obtain it bro just call up walter hartwell white man next up is uh oh barriers now this is a fun one i'm also at level 30 this is pretty good for xp i guess it means my uh mob farms are kind of useless now this is so sad what's next pearls all right you know you can't really get to the end anymore players have been breaking end portals recently and uh what the f why are they all in stacks wait if i use it does it just turn back no i can literally just what the frick bro this is actually like super useful wow okay let's grab some more then uh next up is the uh, bottles of enchanting you could literally get these from villagers so this is probably the most normal one here what if i just used all of these all right i'm getting auto clicker that's gta diamonds dude i've been so low on diamonds bro so this is a life changer right here man wow dude these chests are looking clean netherite you know what i'm a big fan it doesn't look as nice as diamonds but no it's uh it's pretty cool i'm gonna have to make some netherite beacons after this goodness and uh oh yeah right redstone emeralds emeralds we never need emeralds again one player that finds this villager it's over what the f huh i think we're fine on totems now wait does it actually work though i got a stack of totems on me all right let's see it oh my god wait they, they literally can't kill me let me take off my armor yo yo guys uh, please let me out i actually don't i have a limited them oh they're getting out yo 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 they're getting out oh shoot where's my sword huh uh, get out of here and, and it broke and it broke okay wait hold on hold on this is a problem i cannot afford to be on one heart where's my god sword all right get out of here oh my jeez that was well i just went through what 20 22 totems there all right did we finish the totem chest i can't remember and we, we didn't even finish it all right next up is shulker shells you only need like two stacks of these at max bro i actually don't know why this is a thing say what's next Oh, yeah. Dude, I don't even need these pork chops anymore, man. I'm gonna get... Oh, my. And it... That's enough. Wow. It only gets me to 10 hearts. Are you kidding me? I need to craft some hearts after this. That is so sad. Oh, beacons. Oh, my God, bro. What's the last one? Oh, my God. Why? Why do I have so many conduits? This is the funniest thing out of every item, but, like... There is zero use. It's the funny that counts. I'm pretty sure we now have every item we ever need. Gold, bedrock, barriers, stacks of ender pearls, beacons, and freaking conduits. However, I didn't plan on abusing these items, but instead, I wanted to recreate my brother's creative world on lifesteal. So I told him what blocks to use, and 30 minutes later... Oh my god. This is beautiful. Oh my god. Oh, there is barriers. Oh, I didn't even... <laughs> Let's get to work then. Here's the thing. We have all of these chests. However, I need a way to carry this. So, I think it's time to put some of these shulker shells to use. Let's take a road bedrock. Next 
next up will be the diamonds and boom these three shulkers should be it we first need to find an area to build it though because like i said i don't want just like random people finding this uh i really want to actually make it on top of the mountain i mean bro look at this this is crazy you know what i've decided i i'm gonna climb up oh my god maybe i should have brought a bed bro look how many mobs are up here i'm gonna actually have to light up the area of conduits there i think they're actually gonna be useful so i'm thinking right in this like middle area right here i like this i like i like what this is so let's take a look here we do have a floor so it's like bedrock and then the floor will go here then and there goes my shovel. Do I have my diamonds? Yeah. We're just gonna borrow one of these. And man, this is so much better, bro. And hopefully someday I can get a full set of diamond tools, dude. Now we got a little layout set up. Let's look at the items we have to use. I mean, I gotta say, it's a good selection. Let's start off with the bedrock. The moment I place, I can't change it. So we're gonna have to get this completely right. So should be something like this. Was that including corner block? Okay, that is. All right, all right. So now let's just do a wrap around the entire thing. But not all of the bedrock was going to be used for this build, since I needed to place four stacks of it. Because yesterday, as of recording this, we gained 284 subscribers. And if you want to claim your permanent bedrock and lifesteal, you just need to subscribe. Yeah, try to blow this up, creeper. What's going to happen? Yeah, nice try, bud. And I actually have to repair this still. All right, now let's move on to barrier. So it's two, two, two. It's gonna be gold with redstone in the corners. So it's gonna be something like this. All right, another right like that. So let's add this beautiful flooring. It's very simple. It's a little touch of uh, bedrock. Let me know in the comments if uh, your survival base looks like this. Uh, honestly, if it doesn't, I'm, I'm sorry. It's probably not a good looking base. I mean, I keep saying this, but no bedrock, no good base. All right. We got the first steps of it down. Let's look at what's next. So some redstone in the middle like that. Some diamonds like this. But I also just noticed that there, we have some like L's on the back. I don't know the symbolism behind this, but you know what? We have to replicate it. So and then it has bedrock right there. Oh, okay. You know, I'm not going to question the build. And obviously in the inside, we have these nice big windows. And before we add on the bedrock ceiling, uh, we're going to have to add some stairs onto this. So it's going to go like that that and like that perfect and let's finish off this like centerpiece right here the conduit like redstone machine all right beautiful and of course i can't forget about the windows because come on you think we're gonna use glass in our in this build man so let's just start on the bedrock roof we first make the outline so i don't mess this up you know i gotta color in the lines you know can't really erase uh crayons but instead of using crayons i'm using bedrock that was a terrible metaphor now i also just need to make sure i don't cover up the stairs case one two three and that should allow us to all right we can climb perfect oh shoot oh my god it's right here are you this is the worst possible place i could have done that okay i can just go up here it's not a big deal and now it's gonna be a four high emerald a uh, thingy now all right so it's gonna be the same staircase and we got the windows covered all right easy peasy you know we got this down to a format now we head up and it's the final room all right let me make the outline again hopefully this time i just i don't misplace bedrock and that'll just lead around through this this. It would suck if this thing actually got raided, though. Now we're on to roof, and roof is going to be uh, quite a lot of fun, actually. So it's gonna look something like this, I believe. Yeah, on the inside, it's gonna be these three by three thingies, and then we have beacons up here. Epic. We just have to add in these little beacons and then the conduits. Oh my god, perfect amount. Dude, I literally can't even tell which world I'm on, bro. That's a complete lie. But it, this does look great, though. Little inside tour. We got the little uh thing here we got the ba barrier stairs nice barrier windows and we got the third floor looking good looking good now that we've literally recreated a creative world onto lifesteal there's one more thing actually to make that two more things i actually there is one other thing so this beautiful build will forever be here to uh represent 
Represent something. First of all, here's the thing. There's something called hearts. Yeah, I need more of them. Two is just terrible. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to empty out my inventory again and set it up so I can basically become invincible. Grab the redstone, do something like that, and boom. Stack of heart fragments. You will never see this on Lifesteal. But here's the thing. If I try to right-click, it doesn't work. And that's because there's an even harder recipe involving a lot of diamonds and netherite. Luckily, we have that covered. So this alone right here, this should be, from my calculations, a straight up... Wait, no, this is not a stack of hearts. Wait, what? How do I craft this? Oh my god. Look at that. We are back to 10. Man, does it feel good to be past two hearts. Now, my final goal is very simple. This may not make sense at first, but once you understand my reasons, you'll you'll agree with me, all right? I need to figure out how to kill this guy. I already have all the items I ever need. It would be a challenge to pop all of these totems, all right? Someone stumbles across this base. I can easily destroy all of the freaking chest. I can burn all of it. But here's the problem. This guy can't die. I try to crit him. No damage. Like, if I get out my god sword, nothing happens. I can splash myself with the best potion I have. But I have strength like a billion. Nothing. Literally, I one-tap iron golems. I, I one-tap everything. But this villager, the most powerful creature on the server. Because here's the thing. It has no gravity. If I somehow destroyed this barrier, it wouldn't fall. I can't push it. It is impossible to get rid of this man. I mean, there has to be a way, though. There has to be a way. Like, let's try these things. Let's see it. Are you dead? No? Is there something else? Uh, freaking... Oh, we're not touching these. However, I don't think I've shown this thing a lot, but there is a potion that is powerful enough to kill anything, even creatures and creative. This is the uh, antidote to poopies, peepees, and even myself. And of course, Walter Hartwell White is also included. Goodbye, Walter. Here's the thing, though. I haven't shown all my powers yet. And I'm uploading a video on this every day for this month. And each one is going to get crazier and crazier until the 30th day, which is when all will be revealed and the wormhole will finally be opened.